One of the powerful features of Revit is that annotation can be used not only for describing our project purpose, but also for helping us with modeling. Powerful feature is uh, one of the powerful features is the temporary dimension, which uh, is active when we select one of the objects. If we want to move this axis, for example, to, I select it and then click on a temporary dimension value and enter some other number. Nice thing is that uh, I can actually do this also with permanent dimension. So when I click on this symbol below temporary dimension line, it switches to permanent dimension. And as you can see, when I select this axis again, I also have this option of editing uh, this um, distance enabled. So sometimes it's better to use permanent dimension and first mm, measure distance between some elements and after that use this to enter the proper value between two objects. Probably many of you already know this trick, but uh, many of us forget that we can also do this with spot elevation f uh, tool. When I go to elevation and I use it to annotate these two floors, I can also define offset using this annotation. I select floor and move this up and down. So we can use also spot elevation for determining the offset value. Lastly, we can use tags also to help us with modeling. For example, if we want to uh, have our room fixed uh, area, which is uh, determined in our project, we can move walls and see how it affects the area of this space. I can also use arrow keys on my keyboard to, to show the exact value of this area. Also, as you can see, this, mm, this element, this annotation is dynamically linked to the element that is describing, in this case, room. When I click on tab and find this room, which is uh, signified by these two crossing lines, I go to properties and I can see that there's identity data of this element, such as number and name. I can change this value here, for example, I will enter number value 100 and you can see that our tag is dynamically linked to this parameter but sometimes it's hard to select and find rooms especially in a tight environment so we can also manipulate the parameters of this room using the tag I just simply click on this room text value and enter new one When I go back to the room and check identity data, you see that this element is entered properly. We can do this with many other tags, for example, windows. And also change this value here. So it's good to know that annotation can be used to help us with not only describing the project but also with modeling and inserting parameters 